Good morning. Come on, the girls are outside with your breakfast. Let's go. Since Don's not here, he asked me to go around this morning and take pictures of his um, meters. This is the one in our laundry room, and it measures how much time the heat pump spends in the different um, cycles, the different stages. Um, he could explain it better, but I do know what it's for. So there, there, Donnie, there's your picture. And I took a real picture, too. These guys are all doing good this morning. I uh, left them a little dry chow in the garage overnight. So they're not starving, even though Mom didn't get up at 5.30 today. There's Tux. So there's a meter in the garage to read, too, over by Ruby. It measures her electricity use. It's just something to compare with Tesla Fi. Um, see that little blue light over there on the wall above the high-powered wall connector. Don's got a piece of that piece of Cat Six cable over here. He's got to come finish, but there is the meter for our Ruby. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Good. There we go. So there's the meter for Ruby. Yeah, the voltage is high out here at 245 this morning. You know, that fluctuates plus or minus a little bit. It's hard to tell low on the side panels, but I would say Ruby still looks pretty clean this morning. The only thing that I'm inspired to really address is this back glass has sort of wet dust on it. So I will wipe down that glass before we leave this morning. And I'll check the side panels just to make sure. But the rest of Ruby looks looks ready for the Tesla meetup today. Now we did not have a lot of rain last night. As you can see, underneath the carport is dry. Um, you can also see that the driveway is still a little bit wet. But usually by the time I get out to the main road, um, the roads will have dried off. It's not rained in 12 hours, so hopefully that will be the case. Because if the road's that wet, then I don't need to worry about the side panels because they're just going to get wetter. So I've got an hour before we've got to head out of there. I think it will be a dress warmly kind of a day. It's only 43. So I used the little stick vacuum cleaner to vacuum the house really quick. I am loving that feature. But, 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 I need my vacuum cleaner elf now to take it out to the garage and you know empty it and clean it for me the only reason why this is working for me i gotta tell you is because when i'm done vacuuming don's part is to take it outside and empty it um people with asthma i don't think they would much appreciate having to deal with the little compartment and stuff but i love the ease of use it suctions great it's not loud it's got all these pluses but don emptying it for me that's what really makes it work so I don't know. I might not be using it again before he comes home. We'll see. Of course, I can go clean it too. All right. I'm up on the step stool and I am playing Dawn. The junk on the window is actually coming off really easy. I'm having to be super careful here though because I have my rings on. And I, I of course, I don't have any buttons on today. But I don't have any. I don't have um, <laughs> good ability to reach there in the center. Yeah, she's looking pretty good this morning though. Let's just get this one spot here in the bottom. So that's all the way up. And in our garage, that's too high. I really should have done this in the garage, but so let's see, where do I actually want it? Probably about right there is good. All right, so um, let's try to calibrate it. We had a great tip from one of our viewers and I also watched a video. So they basically said to just hold the button it beeps so let me put it down now let's see where it opens because it was really it was not opening far enough at all well what do you know 
Um, I would say that's still not quite high enough. It's more like here is where I want it. So let's try it again. All right. Well, that's not any higher. I mean, it's higher than it was to begin with. All right, so up here. <laughs> Try it again. Because it really did used to be in a spot that was comfortable for us in the garage. If the door is open, we've got to be careful we don't hit the door. If the door is closed, it's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> come on, door, you're frustrating me now. I mean, it's better. It improved. Don't misunderstand. And there's nothing out here, so. Well, I guess that's as good as it's going. We'll ask the mobile guys. I mean, that's better than it was. I can live with this. Because it was like, it was like down here, right, Johnny? And you yeah. go to get your book bag in and you like can't, you've got to move it when your hands are, it's got to be at least that high. So, we'll just check. All right, Donnie, I'm under the house by the hot water heater. You said to look for a meter that looks like the one in the garage. There you go. All right, Johnny's at the door for me, just like I do for Dawn, so we don't lose any kitties under the house, because if we do, they'd be stuck under there for a while, or I'd have to leave it open, and I don't like either of those scenarios today. Can you shut it behind me, bud? All right, thanks for being a good helper. It's a two-person thing to keep to get the measurement and not let kitties in. And they're all over here. They're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> so we're headed to the Carry Supercharger. It's going to take us on the um, on the Batline. We're supposed to be there at 11:45. 11:50 will have to be good enough. Maybe we'll pick up time on the road. I'm pleased to see that the road is reasonably wet. And yes, I will go over the line to avoid the puddle. Absolutely, if there's no cars coming the other way. This is our exit. She's exiting. Woo! <laughs> All right, Ruby, let's go. You gonna break a little girl? You gonna let some regen happen here? You gonna slow up just a little bit? That would be that would be good. It says to take this at 25 miles an hour, so she's down. Uh, it's turning control to me. All right, well, that was a nice exit. She did good. I probably would have regen just a smidge sooner, but let me get her out of autopilot because we're just coming up here to a stoplight. I always do that by hitting the brake gently. I know you can also use the stock. And the carry supercharger is going to be in the shopping center just up here on the right. So we're good. We're doing good. Get out of that wet lane. <laughs> so I parked um, down here by the theater where um, the meetup is going to happen and we have just a short walk. You can see I'm pointing toward where the Hickory Tavern is. A subset of people are meeting for lunch and then more will be coming for the meetup. So we're here at Hickory Tavern. We put in our drink order. We've got our food ordered now. We're having a good time. We've talked about flat tires. I got Colorado chicken and yes, that's balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts over there. And Johnny has what kind of chicken tenders? Teriyaki. Teriyaki. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's great to see you. I'm so glad you drove over from Rocky Mount to spend time with us. So what were you telling All me right, now? So the place we went to in Rocky Mount a few few months back. Oh, yeah, the mill. The, the tiny houses in the yep, middle. Uh -huh, right? Yep. And so they finally installed um, Tesla destination chargers in their parking lot. And I was like, great. I suggested it like a few months ahead of us doing that. And then, you know, they were going, uh, Well, that is they, awesome. They actually did it. So I'm... Um, Really we'll happy. have to go back and check it out. We found mm -hmm. a Smithfield in Dunn yes. that has destination chargers. So Don's very excited about right. the prospect There's of barbecue two. and charging at the same time. Uh, two in Rocky Mountain, they got there soon. <laughs> Way cool. Smithfield restaurants. 
Johnny's doing what he does best, making friends with the people with the Tesla and the dogs. <laughs> and uh, some people came while we were at lunch. We have a bigger crowd today. It's looking good. It's cold though. After getting nice and warm inside the restaurant, it is freezing out here. For those that want to test summon, Zeb brought his cones and is setting them up. Considering that it's in the mid 40s here and we're cold, and it looks like rain and it's damp because it did rain. Um, we have a really good turnout. Model X be tripping and his family is here today and here is their, uh, their Model X, that is not Ruby. There's this a little older, has uh, the perforated seats. Yep, this is a car that's being summoned. Hello. Hi. You have the doggies. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. That's right. Yeah, it, it popped out of that space like I wish I'd have had the. I know, really. I thought some hot router was taken off, and here it is on summon. I'll probably try to take Ruby around the track here in a little bit. So, as you would expect, we mostly have Model 3s here, but there are at least three Model Xs, including Ruby, and uh, a few Model Ss. There actually might be more Xs here than Ss. Because we have Zebs, and then I understand that we would have a fourth X here, except for Wendy and Richie's Xs in the shop, so they have this S loaner vehicle. <laughs> so yeah, I think just the two pre-facelift S today. I'm doing it for us, Richie, right? <laughs> oh. We're having fun, but it's cold. My fingers are cold, my toes are cold. Huh? Then of course we enjoy the Christmas show. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's a meetup that we have to have at least one light show per meetup. There's a rule about that in the bylaws, you know. I almost made it. We haven't had a lot of non-Tesla people stop by today. We're having a good time. But as far as outreach over here in the corner here by the theater, um, we just don't get to talk to as many non-Tesla people. And personally, I love hanging with my Tesla friends, but I also want to do outreach. Like, I think we need a meetup in Anger or Dunn or... Yeah, I want to try to summon her, so... Hey, you guys, Kendall, watch out. Ruby's coming. Actually, I'm going to try. She she tends to not want to do it the first time. Well, there are people around, right? She doesn't like that so much. Well, right now, it would be nice if she would pop up the come to me button. Come on, Ruby. Really? You're not going to pop up the come to me button? Close the Tesla app and reopen. Now I have come to me. Summon failed. All right, we'll try it again. It's throbbing. Okay, come to me. Waiting for pedestrian. Okay, I'll move. Waiting for path to clear, she says. That's as clear as it's going to get, Ruby. Come on. I swear it's okay to come, girl. Come on. Be a good little doggy and come on to mama. Waiting for path to clear. Well, who do you think is in your way, sweetheart? You think she doesn't like the water spot on the ground? She keeps on saying waiting for path to clear and she will not move forward. All right, I moved her. Now if she can't come to me, it's all on her. Come on, Ruby. 
I really think she did not like the water. Ruby, I can't walk any faster, sweetie. That's as fast as I can walk, honey. I'm just holding come to me. Forgot to restart the phone recording. Let's stop it. And I will restart the phone and walk a little ways out of the way. Oh God, Ruby's not gonna be able to make that turn. Are you people insane? Ruby can't make that turn. Here, we're gonna help out Ruby a little bit. This Model X needs a little more room to maneuver. All right, press come to me now. <laughs> yeah, you just hit those cones, Ruby. Come on. <laughs> cut harder, cut harder, cut harder. Yay. Oh, Ruby, you had it. You had it, girl. Come on. I appreciate you being safe with my wheels, but come on. I accidentally took my finger off the button. My phone had a low battery there. Not the car, my phone. Yay, Ruby! Come on, girl. Come on. Keep going. Don't stop. You can do it. You don't need to stop. Come on. Yay! I think it was the water on the ground. I think she thought it was a person. Come on. Some incomplete, huh? She thought she was done. Yep, slowing down for intersection. She's looking. Ruby. Well, she's doing a good job of exercising me just like a dog. Dog on a leash. Of course, usually the dog's pulling you. Picked up a little speed there, girl. Come on, Ruby, straighten back out. Straighten out, honey. There you go. She is at 2.6 miles per hour. Come on. <laughs> Maximum distance reached. Okay. Come on, Ruby, I need to get you back to your parking spot. So apparently you can't lead it like it's on a leash for forever. The phone's good so you don't need a, a lapel mic It's or good unless you're in high wind. Okay. If you're going to be filming in your garage or something, you won't have a problem. If I go down to the beach and I'm trying to film something, there's wind. But you can put a muff on it. I just okay. don't have one. So and you have a tripod for that too? I do. I have a tripod. Okay. Yep. Cool. Talking about how to become a YouTube creator. Yes. So this orange, bronze orange Model 3 is plastidipped, and I have to tell you, I was fixing to walk over there, but they're leaving, but it looks great. I like it. I like that color. <laughs> Bye. Can I film your pretty Model 3 leaving? <laughs> okay. Bye. See you next time.
So, so Donnie, they are asking me about the Model Y. You need to know, are we getting performance? What color is it going to be? And all these questions. And I told them that, you know, the thing we said the other day about the paint. But now we're talking tires and efficiency. So I said it's not going to be our trip car. So we don't need great efficiency, right? This is for Don to tool around in on the weekend, some stuff like that. But then we don't want these tires that are so easy to run over a pothole, like the guy from Engineering explained, and then you're stuck on the side of the road with it more often. Although, you know, Ruby's had, you know, a flat tire now. So, I, you know, it's just, it's really complicated, guys. What we're going to do, it's really, it's complicated. Okay, so I ranted about Chrome Delete and how I'm not a fan. And what did you say? You said why people? Is when why owners start chroming their whys. <laughs> That is going to be perfect. I love that. Forty-four degrees, cloudy and windy. Yeah, so Zeb wants you to know that it's ten degrees colder today than it was supposed to be when we planned to meet over here. And lots of clouds, cloudier. As well. Yeah, it looks like it could rain basically at any minute, and I can't feel my toes. <laughs> I need a way to roll up the windows on the app because I kept on wanting to start making Ruby warm, but there's no way to put the windows up without coming over here and putting them up over here so we need to be able to roll the windows up from the app they haven't added that have they I, I feel pretty sure they haven't added it so we moved over here to the supercharger Kendall's charging so he can get back to Rocky Mount and um, Wendy and Richie are charging the loner <laughs> all right we're in the loner s Kendall and Johnny and I are in the back seat and Wendy and Richie are in the front and hey. we are trying to warm up baby yeah. <laughs> what? He like the car? He was he was leaning <laughs> over her. No, so he was doing like he was doing this. Yeah, I should open Ruby's doors more often. No, seriously, like this. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> Just uh, checking out the sky here at South Park before Johnny head to the house and plug Ruby in for the night. We had a really good day. I think um, we got to the restaurant at like 11.50 a.m. and we left the supercharger at 4.50 p.m. So we hung out over there for almost five hours basically. Most of it outside and it was in the low 40s. You know, Zeb had said it was supposed to be in the mid 50s today. Uh, that didn't quite work out for us, but um, obviously we were having an awesome time if we were willing to stand out there in the cold for that long. Thoroughly enjoyed the uh, banter back and forth with the other Tesla drivers. Looks like Don's put up some amazing pictures of EVs, an EV1, they've seen the Rivian. Um, looks like the guys are having an awesome day out there at Fully Charged Live. I look forward to... Um, running through Don's um, Polar Steps uh, stuff a little bit uh, later on and putting it in today's video, but it's been a great day. That feeling you get when you're warm, comfortable, ready for a nap, and just don't want to leave the Tesla to go out into the cold winter air. <laughs> yep, I have that feeling right now. This morning, and uh, you know, you got to have the right uh, coffee, you got to have the right drink. So they went by the um, Austin Starbucks. I do not know why Don showed choice, privileges, rewards, but um, maybe he got a small cup of coffee this morning. I don't know. So um, Kyle wanted to grab a haircut and um, Don was watching our video on the um, Model 3 while Kyle was uh, getting his shopping haircut. Center. Kyle's in getting a haircut. That back. So we are at a shopping center. Kyle's in getting a haircut. And I'm here in the Model 3 watching our YouTube. Thank you, Donnie. So we, that was very sweet. There's Kyle looking all spiffy after his haircut, ready for an exciting day at Fully Charged Live. Um, they're there, like, uh, set up on slash near a racetrack. 
And uh, Don said when they got out, they were greeted by the roar of exhaust. And I think in the background for a good part of the day, they had um, a lot of car noise. Um, so, yeah. And then Don said, here's the line. Just a little bit of a line waiting to check in. I mean, seriously, right? That's some definite people Just there. Just a little bit of a line. So that's good. Well attended. Now, I know you guys know right away what this is. And um, let me go ahead and make this bigger. Of course, that is a the front headlight on a Rivian truck. You can even see the detail here of Rivian in the, uh, uh, in the light there. From Kyle tonight, I hear that Don was really excited about, this is the SUV version, about the SUV version of the Rivian. Really excited. So um, that's cool. I, I would love to see one in person. I'm sure that's coming sometime here in the next year. It looks really nice. It looks a lot like the GMC, Donnie. <laughs> and here's uh, another Rivian, uh, just a regular pickup truck, not the SUV. And Don was explaining to me on the phone call tonight that this is uh, two motors and the inverter for the Rivian. I guess it has four motors. Um, I can't quite read the tag here, but that is one of the, the Rivian parts, Rivian motor, and uh, they saw a Har Harley Davidson live wire. Kyle got a picture of Don in front of it, way cool. Don, as you can see, was decked out in his new Cybertruck t-shirt, his triangle Tesla badge on the lanyard, and his Cybertruck hat, which he's looking up so you can't see it, but he did say that he got quite a few um, compliments on the hat and the shirt. And they had a, a Taycan there today. Don said this blue looked pretty up close. Uh, he did not get to sit in the car, but I think it'll be there tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow he would get to do that. There were a lot of vendors, and Don said the vendor area was really super loud and really super crowded, which is great that it was well attend attended, but maybe the event space was not quite um, big enough for everyone that... Um, was either showing their stuff or um, came to see the cars today. I know you probably can't hear me, but uh, that's the Taycan, a live wire, Electrify America, uh, various different charging providers, solar providers. You know, this is the vendor booths and such to get information. There are a lot of people here. I've seen a couple of YouTube people on channels that I watch already. Very impressive. Unfortunately, Robert Newell and it will be here. He's sick. I know you probably can't. Yeah, so if you did, you know, hopefully you could hear what Don said. He said it's really crowded, and um, Robert Llewellyn was sick and was not in attendance today. And um, that was, uh, wow, really hope he gets to feeling better soon because you know he must be really sick if um, he didn't make it to fully charged live. I mean, that's his, that's his show. That's his thing. So, um, hope he's feeling better soon. And uh, Dom was pretty excited about seeing the EV1. He said it was really well restored, um, good shape, and uh, he was he was excited to see that in person. I like the green. I like the green a lot. The future is electric. Sure is. Um, Don said the guys from EV West were out there. Um, I'll show you the next picture. This is an older model Porsche 911. Looks really nice. Very sweet that it's been electrified. And just for me, Don took a picture of the i8 because um, let's just say that I admire the doors, but I'm sure it's, you know, one of those sports cars like the Tesla Roadster. I would never do well getting in and out of it on any kind of a regular basis, but I can still like the doors. I can still like the doors. Not as good as Ruby's doors, but I like the doors. And um, you can see here that they had people talking. I wasn't able to tell who this was, and I didn't get the scoop from Don, but um, 
obviously they had uh, good attendance and people listening to some of the presenters. I'm trying to see. Yeah, this does look like it is the same venue spot, same same place. Um, so Don did get to check out some of the um, people that were talking there today. I have to ask him a little bit more about that. And um, unfortunately, at the end of the day today, Don had apparently, um, yeah, they were at Circuit of America. That's where the venue is, the racetrack. The fully charged live was off to the side. Um, unfortunately, Don uh, developed a really bad headache. He said it may possibly have been the worst headache he ever had in his life. He thinks it had something to do with um, not having enough coffee this morning. Um, what else did he say? The incredible noise of, it was said it's basically like being in a bar for eight hours today. It was so loud with the chatter on the, the showroom, uh, floor, um, you know, and probably he said also, uh, you know, it was a warmish day, um, but he probably didn't drink enough water. And I know for me, anytime we travel and I don't drink enough water, I get a headache. So, um, and they headed out so to we're kind dinner. Of the home charging screen instead of the supercharging screen, a little different than we've been seeing. Right. They were plugged into a destination urban supercharger, I guess. And um, while uh, they were at dinner, so Dom went with Kyle to dinner, but then he ended up staying in the Model 3 and resting because the headache was so, so bad. Uh, they were at the County Line barbecue. Um, I'm sure it was great. Uh, you'll be pleased to know, though, that at the um, end of the day, Don's headache was gone, and he was feeling much better. And um, Kyle was just really great. Um, you know, Don said he took really good care of him while he had that horrible headache, and he stopped and got Don some food on the way back to the hotel, and Don was able to enjoy it. So um, for the other Tesla folks at dinner, you know, Don was really sorry that he couldn't get there. He just you know, he just had to rest that headache for a while. So hopefully Donnie tomorrow, you will get more coffee in the mortar morning and more water throughout the day. And um, you guys will have another great day at the event tomorrow.